Ahoy there, Captain Benzi here, coming at you with a very different type of video today. Now, at the beginning of each of my videos, you'll see along that little black bar that appears that I very proudly announced that the video is made entirely using a Razer Phone 2. Now, recently I've had a lot of people ask me how that's actually possible. How do I do it? What apps do I use? How do you use those apps? And so on and so forth. So I thought today I would actually sit down and talk to you guys about me using Kinemaster and how I actually edit and throw together my videos. Now before we jump in, if you do enjoy this video and find it helpful, let me know by hitting like on it and do consider subscribing to the channel for all things mobile gaming. Let me know what kind of content you would like to see in future, either by commenting in the comment section below or by coming and finding me along one of the various different social media channels you see on that black bar too, and they'll remain in the description below as well after this video. Before we go any further as well, I do want to make it abundantly clear that I am doing this entirely on Android, so whether or not this works on iOS, um, unfortunately I can't really comment on that, so if you're looking coming into this for iOS, I am sorry I can't help. Um, Kinemaster may be there on uh, the, uh, the the Apple Store, um, and I know there's a screen recorder built into most iOS devices, so that may work for you. Um, I will put links for all of these um, in the description below as well. Um, and I'm not endorsed or sponsored by any of these apps. Um, I've never have been. I, I, I wish I was. I really wish I was. That would be amazing that I was paid to talk about stuff that I love using. But no, these are genuinely apps that I have found naturally through trial and error of downloading various different apps and seeing how they work from the app store. Anyway, all of that preamble out of the way, let's get started. So when I make a video, the first thing I will do is I go into, uh, into Kinemaster, which is my editing software, and I open up my project. I go for the aspect ratio of 16.9. You can go one to one, but most people will be watching um, you find these days on YouTube on phones. So this is the typical sort of sideways thing here, and that's my new project. I can start importing all kinds of stuff into here, but ultimately, Way before all of this, I would have need to have actually recorded either a scripted voiceover and uh, or like me just talking like I am now, just over footage. Um, and I will also have need to have had some footage. Now, the way I do this is, as I said, I used to use Mobazin, but now I use AZ Recorder. Mobazin glitched out for me a little bit on the Razer Phone 2. I've heard with recent updates that's been fixed. Um, other people I know use Mobazin with great effect. I personally now am using AZ. Um, but here's what I do. So imagine here that I've done this as a script. What I will usually do is I have the script in front of me and I just record me talking and reading that script using a Z recorder. I screen record the script with me talking over it. And that gives me the first bit of footage that I can import here. Now imagine that this was me doing an Intel report for the shade. I obviously need a load of shade replays. So let's drop some of those into here as well. And we're gonna scroll right the way back to the beginning. Now with this voiceover, that's all very well and good with the voiceover here that I'm clearly reading. It's an Armajet script, but we're going to pretend it's a CNC Rivals one. What I would actually do here is tap onto this, scroll down and extract audio. Now, if I cut this and trim it to the right and then delete it, and there is a reason we do it that way, you'll see now that the voiceover is down there at the bottom in this file here. Now here, I can go in, I can edit the volumes of this as necessary. While I'm editing, I can also mute it. I can set it to auto volume, which I usually do in fairness on voiceover tracks, just because it tends to get it to a nice 50% audio level. It balances it uh, quite nicely. Very impressed with that. You can add things like reverb, and there are voice changes here as well for playing with different kinds of stuff. So if you wondered how I did the, uh, the, the intro speak on the Cyber Wheels video, that was actually done with, I think it was either Deep or one of, it was one of these on here, uh, like the robots or something that I've modulated my voice with. You can also loop it if it's a sound file, like, you know, a soundtrack just in the background, that kind of thing. And of course, get used to your trim and split. That is literally what it says. Trim takes it right the way down. I'm gonna undo with the top left, or we can split it at place. Again, undo at the top left. Now, what I will ultimately do in these situations is, you see, I can scroll left and right. I find the bit of footage that you know, I'll sit and listen to this bit of uh, chat here that you can see me highlighting down there in the bottom, and I will find the bit of footage that's relevant to it. So let's imagine that that is a shade blowing up a slingshot. So what I'm going to do here is get that to come across. There's the bit of footage I'm looking for, the shade blowing up the slingshot. Cool. So I want that to start about there. So I can now trim that to the left of the playhead, and you'll see there I've now got just that bit of footage and the, uh, the shade pulling away after. Now I'm gonna split at playhead there because I may want to have other bits going on. Now for some of the effects in that that I do, you can go in here to, sorry, I'm gonna do that a little bit slower. You'll see at the top here in the middle, it should be now highlighted red, is the pan and zoom function. Go into this and I can sit there and actually zoom in 
on that bit of the action and never zoom in don't ever use the lock the lock is so boring even if you're going to be just on that one area just basically do that and zoom in a little bit more and ultimately what you're now going to get is this kind of little zoom in effect you can see i'm focusing on that piece there and away goes the shade just it's that's the footage there and obviously it cuts through now if we decide that actually now what do we want next we're going to scroll right the way ahead with all of this find some more footage of the shade let's find it on a different color map because i like to try and mix it up i don't like to have two green games you know two field games next to each other and um, i like to have say like a grass game and then a, a sand game uh, like over the desert that kind of thing let's we've got shade in play does this do anything interesting here uh, it's just gone after a harvester let's uh, it doesn't really matter i suppose let's pull this in here and have the bit where i think it goes after the attack bikes in just a second there we go oh there's one there where it's attacking the uh, coming around and attacking the harvester so okay we'll cut into there so if we just go here i'm going to split it playhead and scroll ahead split again i can grab this and hold it with my thumb i can then like move this around and if i tap the bottom left here it'll take me right the way back to the beginning and i can push that to there now you see here i've now got these two bits side by side again what i need to do here is have this go exactly to where i want it to have that end there with the shade pulling away and we're going to do that again moving in and zooming in on where the shade is at the start of this here there it is move that in and then move it over to this side that should be plenty we can just give that a quick test manually here yep that moves nicely finally we add in a transition that is touching this little white square in the bit we can scroll to the bottom go to classic transitions and um, i like to go for just for a simple crossfade here a one second crossfade is about all we need and now you'll see that we get that little bit of footage of the shade taking out the slingshot we scroll ahead and whoop it fades through to the next bit there of me there we go of it shooting at the harvester and moving through and moving down and again, you can then add all stuff, all kinds of stuff in here. It doesn't have to just be uh, videos. And uh, if you go to, uh, sorry, added media, and then we can scroll down to our find the folder. Somewhere in here should be an EA folder. Just find it. EA maps. Nope. Somewhere around there. It's one of my older folders. Uh, CNC rivals. No, nope, that's not the one either. I need to actually properly go through all of this. There it is, EA properly go through all of this and uh, like figure out like file this all better what i'm going to do here is we're going to add another classic transition get a crossfade of one second into this now what i tend to do here is i zoom these right in and i go to the top left and then i zoom it right in and i go to the bottom right and you see there that that then gives us this cool little scrolling effect that you've probably seen in the background of many of my intel reports and things like that that is there just the scrolling ahead if I go into the middle here, and now we're going to add a layer, layer and media, and again down the bottom in that EA folder should be, there it is, the copy holder, which I'm going to expand to the right size, drop into pos a position there, and I'm going to have that fade in. That's the beginning of its animation, and it's going to fade out as well. You see it's halfway through the transition, and then it'll start to fade in at the bottom. We can drag that duration further as well, we're going to make this one another classic transition crossfade of one second and then with that in the very center we're going to carefully tap on here trim to the right and again we've got it set to fade out now this is ultimately how i do these little middle sections i then if you if you're highlighted on something like here you see it's now got the yellow border i can't actually scroll past the left side of it or the right side so you can kind of use that as a guide point so if I scroll all the way to the left and I can't go any further, I can come out of that, go to layer and then text and I can type in, we'll do the usual ooh, crikey, Intel report and the two colons after the end. At the very top here on the two A's, I can go now to the different fonts that I use. It's usually Aldrich regular for these. I can then make it nice and large, flop it into the center there, drag that out as well. And again, we're going to make this fade in at one second and fade out at one second so that it matches with the copy holder. Copy holder again, we're going to scroll right so that's at the end. Go over here and then trim that to the right. And we should now have, you see that fades in and everything's behind it. Final thing that I would do on a video like this, of course, is under media. I'm going to go down to the units and we're going to find the artwork. So where is the nod folder? There it is. I should have a piece of artwork 
for the shade. And if I don't, we'll just use something else. I can't see the shade. I'm probably not looking properly, um, but that means I've got it stored somewhere else on here. Screw it. This one's going to be about scarabs because everyone loves scarabs. I'm going to make those nice and big. And I'm actually going to have these guys overlap that Intel report just a little bit like that. Again, we're going to have these fade in and oh, no, not chroma key and and fade out when my fat thumbs allow me to actually get the bits trimmed to the exact length as well here. And you'll see now that as we come back, we get that bit of footage that fades out nicely to an Intel report about scarabs, apparently. And that goes there. Now, if we decided that actually we didn't want the scarabs to be in front of this piece, you can tap on the scarab uh, bar at the bottom there on the double dots here and then send to back and you'll see it goes behind it. And if I decide actually, no, I do want it at the front, obviously we just go bring to front and we can play around and do all kinds of stuff with that. Heck, if we wanted, we could make this a video about Scarabs and one of the commanders. So let's go into the commanders folder. We'll pick up Seth, Seth and Scarabs. Cool, we'll make him bigger. We're gonna drop him down and we're gonna drop him right to the back. And again, he's gonna fade in and fade out. Drag that across clip it to the same length as everything else and suddenly ta-da Seth is behind it all and we've got the scarabs right in his face how pretty that is poor old Seth uh, <laughs> and then at the end of that section you'll see it fades out there and so on now there is a voice function here as well that you can use for just recording straight over and um, stuff like this I don't really like it it's always been a little bit buggy for me um, like I'll be recording and it'll just take a little it'll glitch a little bit. So what would be a 10 second voice recording actually ends up being a, like 9.7 second voice recording. And that 0.3 is just a quick click that's missing somewhere halfway through. So it'll sound like instead of me saying, how are you today? It'll be, how are today? It just cuts that tiny little bit and it's it, it's been problematic. But imagine now that we've got all the footage we wanted edited like this all together. Everything's exactly how we want it. We can then go into audio, go down to albums or folders or any way you have of finding the different bits here. And um, so if we go to download, for example, uh, we'll just do summarize on the train Terry Bogard's theme from Garrow Mark of the Wolves. We can put that in. You'll be able to sort of play it and sample it there. Then you just listen to it by hitting play, see how the balance is. In this case, I'm going to go ducking, loop and loop to end. I'm then going to drop it right down to about seven or eight percent and listen to how that balances against what I'm listening to. And that will be there in the background. And as you'll see, it actually loops itself right to the very end of the video. Now, there's all kinds of other stuff you can do here as well. Under all of this, if we go into layer, you can do handwriting on a screen where you kind of circle something and draw your own little arrows. Um, and then you can edit that so that that comes in and out in different ways. So if we go draw by stroke, you see it adds it in there. Draw in order, fade the entire thing in, pop the entire thing in, all that kind of thing. And if you don't like it, you can tap the delete icon here on the left. Bye bye. And um, we've got things like overlays. Overlays are great fun. Some of these are just straight up stickers like these. Um, some of them are animated and you can either get there or some of these are available for free and if you go to get more you can go to the Kinemaster app store and download others and um, Kinemaster does have a premium version and a free version if you go for the premium version everything that's online is available to you and I wholeheartedly go for that subscription I love that subscription because um, I can then do stuff like this I add in like this water effect I'm sure you've seen me use that a couple of times in videos as like a, a way of going over you can do all of that and again these can also fade in fade out um, and as with anything like if we go back to uh, we're going to delete seth because he looks horrid there sorry seth um if we go back to the scarabs you can also do overall animation like blinking or flickering pulsing jittering fountains these tend to be way too much for me like i don't think i've ever really used these just because they're that little bit crazy and over the top so we're just gonna um set that back to none i think you can also, of course, crop the images you've got there and you can set different shapes for those crops. Um, I very rarely have needed to use that, but there have been times like when I had uh, Professor Cyborg doing stuff. A lot of his stuff, uh, bits and pieces are cropped. You can color filter the images as well um, so that you get all these different kinds of effects here. Of course, your negatives and your Polaroids and all that um, play around with those. Blending, if you want to overlay and multiply all these things, kind of different opacity levels. Again, all very niche, but you'll find ways to do all of this. What I tend to do as an example of this is now that I'm twinned here with Brutal Democracy, I have this little image that I make a lot smaller 
and I drop into the bottom left. There we go. Tap that into place, and then I alpha opacity that down to 50% or close to. If I do a double pinch out like this on the screen, I can then grab that and drag it right the way through the entire uh, entire uh, video. And you see that that is now like a watermark that stays there. And I will always set that to back so that, for example, here it goes behind the Intel report section there and anything that appears over the top. So like my usual, if I go into media and downloads, all kinds of random stuff you'll find in my downloads folder here, uh, which gets used for all kinds of stuff. Again, this is where I should be uh, moving stuff around and actually filing but there's that file that I have there. In animation, I usually have as enter slide right on that one, um, and then exit as an exit slide down, so that it pops off the bottom. I then, obviously, as I'm sure you guys are all aware, again, under download, if I scroll right to the bottom, I've got all my crazy little headshots. Yeah, I know they're pathetic, but you know what? I find them hilarious, so I, I put them in for me. Again, enter slide left, and exit slide down. And you'll see now that if we start this video, whoop, there it goes, I've got it in front. So we're going to pause, we're going to send that to back, going to put it back again and try that. And there we are. There's my usual. Hi, thanks for watching this video you saw at the beginning and out they both go. Now, one of the great little tricks and uh, one of the tips and tricks that I can really recommend for stuff like this is like at the end of my videos, if you've ever watched that far, I have a little outro section, which is where my end video cards pop up. That is actually its own unique thing. So if I go into export here, uh, there it is. This is its own unique file that I have set like this. So when the video ends and I do the happy sailing, see you in the arena, I fade through and then I just clip this file to however long I want it. And there it is. That file itself is actually made in KineMaster. So I'm going to come out of this one briefly. I'm going to scroll down here to Untitled 26. Of course, you can name these. And you'll see that if I hit play on this, there it is. Everything comes in in one go. Now, the way that I've managed to get that is you see that's a different image to the one below it. I haven't quite got it perfect. You can see there's a little bit of overlap there. And this is also how I used to do the intros for things like uh, my loadout lowdowns. I'm possibly missing some of the media files from this now. Yep. Um, let's have a look at some of these others if they're all here. Yeah, there we go. So I did this intro for the loadout lowdowns, um, which I'll explain in just a moment. That's a load of extra bits of footage all cut together. There is a song file underneath all of that that I then saved and got all of this. I saved that so that I can then just have here, it's that battle ball bit. Loadout lowdown, battle ball comes on in front. And it's just great little tips like that that you can do here. And of course, it doesn't have to just be stuff off your phone. What I've got there, that is uh, that is actual footage from Eve Echoes, uh, sorry, Eve Online on my PC, um, that I have sent across to my phone, and I would edit it and use it here uh, for a future Eve Echoes video. And if we go back up into here, into our little crazy video, I'm going to delete this section. We're going to delete this one as well. Heck, we're going to delete a whole ton of these. We're going to come back, and we're just going to there we are, we'll have the missile launch as our next little bit, because I like watching missile launches in Rivals, it's just so satisfying to see. Boom, even though that one is against me in-game, oh well. Um, so things, you can then go into clip graphics, I'm going to trim this one right down first of all, trim to right. And if we go into clip graphics, again a lot of these are from the premium, so you will need to perhaps go to the subscription for these, but there are a lot that are free as well. Um, you can do all kinds of stuff, like for example, we can add a VHS tape where it just sort of hovers over here, and you might recognize some of that from my loadout, uh, my Intel report intros, um, and things like this you can add in, add its, add its own text. Um, from the loadout lowdown, the new style is done with um, my life's moments here, which just does this straight over the video. And you just choose what text to put in, and there's these different ones that come in um, on here. There are Halloween ones that I used for one of the Armaget Halloween videos like that just all comes in and you change the settings and what you want to appear on it um, bloody nightmare you just can just play around with these and find different things that are quite cool and again if you're a little bit worried like for example if i show you here there is a little error in these and um, if i have that go through this one you'll see that as this fades it fades into the naked track and then the edited one pops in so what i would then do is i would take this edited clip into a new project and um, just that clip of the launch I would then set it with this, save it as its own separate project, then re-export it back into this one. And if you don't like it, of course, you can just go back in, scroll up, and take it to none. And that's kind of the basics, really, of 
everything that I do. Everything that, uh, all of my videos are kind of made using just what I've shown you there. I add in little media clips, I cut between them, I occasionally have bits float onto the screen, and I like you know, different weapon primaries and assets and all that kind of thing. You can set them as a complete picture on their own as well, like this. It doesn't, as you saw earlier with the background here, it doesn't have to be a video file in the background, but you can also have that set as a layer over the top, so if I was then to go back down, to the horizontal weapons and put, say, the Nightfall over this, you can do, and you can rotate it. You can do all kinds of stuff with this. And again, under the layers, under overlays, you've got things like, if I scroll right down, I think it's near the bottom. No, it's going to be near the top then. Typically, basic shapes, it was right there. Things like my little pointy hands that I use, and you can twist those around. Um, you can go into rotate and mirroring, obviously, to flip them around and do all kinds of stuff. Um, so decide I, I want to point at this shade here. Settings, I can change the color and that of it, but I'm just going to go with a fade in and a fade out so that, oh, look, you know, yeah, I've just been hit, but hey, I've got a shade. And I don't know why you'd ever exactly want to do that, but that is the kind of stuff you can do. I'm just going to have a quick flick through, and I don't think there's anything really else that I use all that much. And um, the effects I don't personally tend to touch, you do have backgrounds and things that are. Uh, are available for you to use that come pre-installed with it as well and um, you can use those as like title sections as well sometimes you know you might want that in there just delete move things around and it's very very straightforward to if i add in some more add in some more footage go back to the shade folder i've lost the shade folder there it is and add in two bits more footage i can sit there and go right okay so again we're going to cut this section there for whatever reason and we're going to Hold it until it's movable, click it back, drag it into position, and apply our intro. So crossfade. There we go. And again with these, I'm going to bring that one to bear like that. So that should be a nice quick zoom across. Let's see. There it is, off goes the missile, off the top of the screen, and we back down into position it goes. That then crossfades into our next one, which again, I can zoom right in there. And again, just to have a little bit of footage of a shade getting scared by a phantom. Like, oh no, no, don't go near that, that that's scary and can kill us if we're not cloaked. Um, <laughs> and yeah, so that is the basics, ultimately, of what I do. Now, I know I'm giving away the whole kind of... The whole deal there I don't care you know the, the point is I, I do this to help people and um, I've always done my tutorials and that to help people in their particular communities and if I can teach you ways to make your own content and start making your own videos to support the games you play wholeheartedly do it get out there do it and if you do make some videos please genuinely I mean this please reach out to me either on Twitter um, or on Facebook or Discord or any of the social media channels that you usually see on the bottom of my screen come find me send me the link i will quite happily watch it i'll like it and um, i'll give you some cr uh, constructive feedback if you want me to and heck if you start doing that like big time like i know a couple of guys in the community um do make their own little videos i know uh, terra Zerius, a couple of others and um, put out videos from time to time i do have a channel on my discord as well that is designed purposefully for people who make content on games similar to i do i will be more than happy to feature the better ones into uh, my associated content channel so 100 percent, i would want to see any kind of work that you guys come up with. I would love to see what videos you guys make and how you make your own content as well. Anyway, I really do think that wraps up everything that I wanted to say here regarding Kina Master. Um, Mob is in, as I said, just play around with the settings. Make sure you turn off watermarks if you don't want them. Get your quality settings all set up. Um, I might see if I can at some point use a second screen recorder to do a bit on Mobizen and that, but ultimately Kina Master is the bit I get asked about most. And this is how the app works. From here, once you've got all that, you then go into your export and share and you can change your settings. What I also tend to do is I have my audio fade out on a two second fader at the end, along with my video on a two second fader, and I have a one second video fade in. And you'll see that what that does at the beginning is you go from black straight to that. And that's it. That is literally what I do. I then share it, and once I've shared it, I export it uh, Export it from here. I then share it directly to YouTube. I then go into YouTube using the YouTube Studio app um, on my phone, and I do all of the tags, settings, and that there. Now, what if you want a particular bit? Now, say, for example, I really like that bit there. There we go, with that coming up there, and the shade in the top left, or better yet, let's say I want the image here 
of the shade firing that shot down there. Now, if I want to use that for my thumbnail, I can tap this little icon here, capture and save, and that has now saved that, uh, that still image that you see in the top left as its own unique picture. And I often use those as backgrounds as well for uh, thumbnails and things like that. And you can also capture and add as clip, and you'll see that that just like makes a, a, a photo of that. Um, you can also do capture and add as layer, um, which is a great way of if you want to kind of keep it going over something else. Um, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff, but I think really I have kind of covered the basics. If you do have any questions, please do come and find me. I'd be more than happy to ask away. And if anyone from Kinemaster is watching this as well, come sponsor me. I will put your logo and branding over all my videos. Just pay me money for it, please. I'm desperate. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks ever so much for watching all this way, folks. I do hope you found it useful. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Ask me any questions you may have regarding this. I'll be more than happy to answer. Happy sailing, and see you all on, well, whatever channels and content you create.